In London today, the palace revealed the queen so passionate about horses will skip the Epson Derby next Saturday, one of her favorite events. The 96-year-old monarch is pacing herself for what will be a historic week, celebrating 70 years on the throne. CTV's Danielle Hamamjan looks ahead to the Platinum Jubilee, beginning with a rare look back. A new documentary featuring unseen footage of then Princess Elizabeth tells the story of her early years before her coronation. Here she is in 1947, sailing to South Africa with her family. I and all my family have always felt that one of our most important duties is to express in our visits overseas the goodwill of our country towards friends abroad, near and far. The movie clips were kept in the British Film Institute vaults until now. Families so often treasure their routines and embrace the roles, traditions and values that mean so much to us. I see it in my own family and it is a source of great happiness. The UK is getting ready to celebrate what no other British monarch has ever accomplished, 70 years on the throne. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event, not just for Queen Elizabeth, but for those who have never known life without her. I just think it's an amazing thing that the Queen's been on the throne for 70 years. It's quite historic. We've come from Yorkshire just to see all the bunting and all the excitement because I just think it's a fantastic achievement for our country. Tiaras, gowns, portraits, coins, the biggest ever, and corgis, even fake ones. Think regal and you will see it on display. I just came because my other half wanted to come. I'm a bit amused that everyone's so excited about it, if I'm honest. Sorry. Perhaps because this is the first Platinum Jubilee to ever be held here and the biggest street party this country has seen since the pandemic. A national thank you day to the Queen will be held this Saturday, during which 10 million people are expected to celebrate. Danielle Hamamjin, CTV News, London.